Hey Virgo, it's Ray. Welcome back to my channel. Baby, I am finally, finally here with your February 2024 reading. Today's date is February 13th. It is Tuesday. Um, it is 12.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I had to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. So let us pray first and then we'll communicate. God, divine source, angels, ancestors, guides, universe, thank you for allowing me to guide all Virgo placements on their February 2024 reading. Thank you for allowing me to guide them on the energy that they are experiencing as well as the energy that surrounds them throughout this month of February. God, please bless each and every heart and soul that taps into this energy with me. Allow us all to be divinely guided and divinely led. No weapon from me against us shall prosper. Thank you for the insight. Thank you for our intuition. Thank you for the intellect. Gratitude. Thank you for the balance of spirituality and practicality. Ashe. Um, October. Reflect back to October. Let's see what your October title was. Hold on. Because I... October was very heavy in the prayer. But I'm also getting an ending to a new beginning. Hold on. Playlist. I need to turn this fan off. Uh, Virgo. October 2023. Your title was An alternate path is waiting for you. And this video was 55 minutes and five seconds. So in the month of February, you could be seeing 555 a lot. I will share that on the community tab so you can watch at your leisure when you get a chance. So make sure you're subscribed so you have access to the community tab. Um, I do feel like February is very emotional for you. Um, I do, you know, February, we do um, enter into your opposite sign, your sister sign, Pisces. So in Pisces, your earth, Pisces is water. So um, throughout this time, and this is currently mid-February, um, I'm getting there's a lot of nostalgia. There's a lot of um, emotional, uh, random sporadic emotional um, moments and events happening for you. Um, you could be very, very um, energetically sensitive right now. Um, you could be spiritually sensitive right now. You could be extremely triggered. You could feel imbalanced um, between spirituality and practicality. Um, I'm getting there's an excess in one or the other. There's either an excess of spirituality and not enough practicality or an excess of practicality and not enough spirituality. Um, there's an imbalance that needs to be rebalanced. I do feel like this is a very karmic time for you as well because throughout this month, um, we're moving into the 12th house energy, Pisces, your sister sign. And um, you wrote the sixth house, you know, health routines, everyday lives and things like that. So I'm getting with the nostalgia. There's a lot of reflection on when um, things were easier, things were more smooth, things were, were uh, more cohesive, things were more balanced in your life. And I do feel like in the month of February, there's this energy of an upheaval and um, spirit is asking you to really pay attention. And I feel like your title is pay attention. It's also interesting because I have my left hand. Um, let me just. It's sitting on the cards like this as I'm speaking to you. Um, uh, with your perception, it could be right. So interesting. Going back to October, that was December, January, February, five months ago. Five months ago. So there's a lot of change that's happening all around you and within you. Um, I've said this for another sign as well. Um, and this is really happening with the collective, especially with this being an eight year, which is a very, very karmic year. Um, I do feel like you're 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 starting to embody the the archetype of you more. So if you don't if you don't understand what the Virgo archetype is, then you should uh, look into that. Um, I was holding the selenite, so you may be called to work with selenite in, in February. I was about to say fucking October. Reflect back to October. Go through your archives on every social media platform. What was relevant? What are you still um, going I, I, going through the stages of grief with from October until now? So October could initiate a first stage of grief for you. And February is the fifth stage of grief. And I do believe there's five stages 
some may have six but you can fact check me on that but selenite is a powerful cleansing crystal um so there's a lot of cleansing and purging that's taking place um for you around you and with the collective um i'm also getting for you as well what's done in the dark comes to the light so whatever you have kept hidden you're starting to express or whatever has been hidden from you is being expressed and exposed as well since we just had the aquarius new moon i'm going to just start with the moons for you i think i did this for leo mm. okay some of you could um something about newborns 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 um i see babies spitting up like the way the cards came out i was like you know i don't know but you have a new romantic cycle begins a uh, new moon in libra in reverse which is an imbalance and then you have full moon in scorpio upright um it's time to release negativity i feel like uh, this is the energy of the aquarius new moon for you um that we had on february 9th my stomach is growling um <laughs> uh let's look at your full moon that we have on february 24th you have what do you need to release <laughs> it came out in reverse but it's in my lap upright so i feel like i hear you can't deny it there's something that you have been um which denial is a stage of grief but something you've been in denial about um again it's coming to the surface um so that you can release it you have release and you have scorpio energy here so heavy heavy purge and with your energy coming out um representing the full moon in virgo we have the new moon a time to give rather than take in reverse so i do feel like this is a time to really heal and pour into you and allow yourself to mourn there's this energy of mourning that um is within you and i'm also getting that surrounds you and then on the bottom you have full moon and leo don't let pride get in your way. So I feel like this pride is associated with denial. Uh, you could find yourself uh, just experiencing a lot of projected energy. Um, you could. I'm getting also energy has been displaced. So be mindful of that as well. Um, making people like it's like you know causing others to suffer due to your own triggers, due to your own unhealed moments in life. And you have underneath a new start is coming in reverse. So I hear there's a need, there's a, there's a pause happening for sure. Um, let me clarify this with the tarot before we move on. Clarify the new moon and Aquarius energy for Virgo placements, please. The high priestess, Pisces energy, your opposite. Anything else? It's kind of like, there's this energy of avoidance, yeah. So with the high priestess being here with the two of wands, there's a path. Again, an alternate path is waiting for you like your October read. And we are eight minutes in. So this year, 2024, it's time for you to take a leap of faith. Okay, dive in. I do feel like in Pisces season, you're closing cycles. You're closing a season in your life, um, which after Pisces, we move into Aries. So winter is the final purge for you for sure, for sure, right? But you see, instead of him moving, he's walking like spirit has enlightened the path for you virgo spirit has enlightened the path spirit is enlightened the way whether this has been like you know where you need to move uh what you should be investing in your purpose it has been enlightened to you okay but you haven't really been submerging yourself into that energy you've been stopping it there's this hesitation here then you see the deer like there's spiritual guidance but this is also um this can be i'm getting there's a blockage in the path as well with this energy so it's kind of like you're at the threshold to cross over but it's like you see the finish line and now it's here and it's like damn you're like stuck like stuck in the sand stuck in the mud type of energy um we're gonna move on to that deck but let me clarify the virgo full moon we'll use this deck next but your intuition it's kind of like we're going with this energy clarifying a new romantic cycle begins this aquarius new moon is saying it, it it's okay to take that leap of faith it's okay to put one foot in front of the other and actually cross over but but what what is also contributing to you having this pause and this stop is negativity is a negative i hear a negative mindset um um, more so focusing on the pain and the sadness of what's happening versus the joy and the new beginnings that are coming in addition to what's happening. And again, it's happening for you, not to you. Clarify uh, this full moon and Virgo energy for Virgo. 
Knight of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely a slowdown happening for you. Things are moving slower than, than expected. Five of Swords, there's a lot of mental and internal conflict that you need to release. Uh, this is also affecting your money. Um, and yeah, it's like until you... Re what you need to release is the negativity. Like Spirit is giving you the answers in in common sense plain form okay it's kind of like it's like fuck the codes like we've been here too long we need to cross over to the threshold so let me make it black and white for you okay what do you need to release you need to release the negativity of poverty you need to mm, smoke alarm you need to release the negativity of 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 thinking of the worst case scenario how things can go wrong versus how they can go right you need to release the the impatience you need to release the 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 lack of trust within your intuition you need to release the past where it's like shoulda coulda woulda it's all of that needs to be purged okay this is you know pisces season is also it could be a new beginning for you if you allow it <clears throat> yeah but you're not there's something that you're not allowing like there is a major there's there's a truth that you're not wanting to accept and i feel like this has been a tune we've been singing for quite some time for you virgo and it's interesting because i know your monthly readings have been a little rough and then with the last all sign reading there was hope but it's kind of like it's it's kind of like the energy of you get into the mode of doing something but you're in the, when you're consistent life is good and then as soon as you fall into the imbalance as soon as you fall into the inconsistency we we just it's like you move two you take two steps forward to take five steps back and it's like you don't have to take any step backs so if you stay consistent on what you're moving forward and two don't stop go yeah two of wands seven of pentacles don't stop go You've invested enough here and you probably feel like it's like you don't see the fruits of your investment. So you feel like, you know, it's not time to go until you see the fruits. But you, you have to you have to you have to give it time to mature. That's what I'm getting. Allow your seeds to mature. Let's move on. Yeah, so a lot of Scorpio energy. If, look at where you have Scorpio in your chart. That energy is very active for you in February. Or if you are dealing, if you have a Scorpio that's like a best friend, a partner, a parent, a sibling, they're really mirroring some things to you. Balancing act and rescue. You can rescue yourself by being consistent on on things that are things that are balanced in life. Yeah. So you, <laughs> gentle gardener in reverse. Yeah, you're not giving your your um your plants literally time to mature or you're just not giving yourself and your circumstances and your situation time to mature and it's some of you like when it comes to just energy you could be very very rough around the edges um you could you could be heavy-handed like literally that's a representation of being rough around the edges so you have um gentle gardener in reverse peaks of joy in reverse you also have spark upright really what i'm getting from this is with gentle gardener this is more so um this is peace this is patience this is understanding of the process and, and not questioning the process and honoring the process and having that inner knowing within that there's a certain code to the process right but when you go against that, you experience pain over pleasure. And Spirit is saying to you, if some of you, um, there's something about 32, 33, and 34. Even though 32 is not here, I'm just, that age or that, that time in your life, if you're older than that or a time that's coming, um, I hear it's a test of time. I don't know. Take that how it resonates. But when it comes to this spark and this violin, this is sweet music. I hear a sweet melody. I also hear Sweet Lady by Tyrese. Mm, but Balancing Act came out in reverse. For some of you, you could be very like in your feelings because I hear Solo Dolo Valentine's Day. But then we have Making a Choice here on the bottom. It's kind of like, I'm also getting with this spark and the way she's just sitting and playing with the violin. It's kind of like this energy of being in a, a very, very hostile in, uh, or toxic or 
energetically imbalanced environment right and it's kind of like as long as you remain the peace you know this gentle gardener will be upright this peace of joy will be upright this balancing act will be upright as long as you keep the be the peace beast you need to be a beast and leave. But as long as you keep the peace, things will be okay. And Spirit is saying no. As long as you stay within this energy, as long as you are here, this is complacency, this is imbalance, this is this is rage, this is pain, this is sadness, this is this is everything that you don't want versus everything that you do want. So so it's kind of like, why are you so scared to make this sacrifice? And that leads me to to tell you about the Taurus reading if you have Taurus placements make sure you tap into Taurus, you know, accomplishing your biggest fear. You're stepping, something about the fear, it's in the title. Clarify gentle garden in reverse for real, please. 15 minutes, devil energy. Five of Pentacles upright. This is affecting your finances. Your finances are at a halt. Your finances are stagnant because of this situation that you're choosing to stay within and God has, has, giving you multiple green lights to go magician in reverse clarifying peaks of joy and four of wands so this is in regards to a home a, a family this could be a family dynamic that you're trying to force work no this could be a home life that you're trying to force work with someone else no you could really be in the energy of you know you're trying to you're trying to heal childhood trauma by doing it you know trying to make a certain relationship work for the kids but this is this is this is what you get peaks of joy in reverse magician you're not able to alchemize you're not able to manifest how you truly desire like there's there's too many when you force you get everything that you don't want when you flow like water you really do and adapt and and you know you gotta honey just you gotta chuck it up to the game sometimes but that's rewarded okay and you know we have free will we do have control we can stop and go and all of those things and it's kind of like you know when you responded in a toxic way it didn't get you anywhere so now it's like you're trying to respond in a peaceful way and spirit is saying that's still in balance which is why there's an extreme between spirituality and practicality is coming up for you nine of pentacles you you are your spark you have everything that you need and this shit is hitting my virgo venus right now but you really have everything that you need to sustain multiply and take care of yourself and your offspring if you do have them if you don't you have more than enough and you have what it takes to really build and thrive in this lifetime you don't have to wait until the next one and we're 17 minutes in aquarius season shows some of you that you are the spark you are the light you are the joy some of you could be august virgos you know that leo that because that leo sun energy is coming through but clarify balancing act. You don't you don't trust. And the reason why you don't trust yourself to take care of yourself is because you failed yourself in the past. But it's like so I have pinnacles here. You're very, very focused on this the practical versus the spiritual. And the way in this nine of pentacles, the way that this bird is on her hand, I'm getting like spirit is saying, come back to me. Like really come back to me and trust, trust me. And you trusting yourself is trusting spirit. You distrusting yourself is you distrusting the divine. It's an, it's an equal exchange. So two of swords, you know. So you know what you need to do to heal. Three of swords in reverse and the sun in reverse. So for a lot of you, um, you could be planning right now to make a major move in Aries season with the um, the emperor being here. We do move into Aries season of, in March. I do feel like if the sun isn't shining where you are, if you really are feeling pain, if you feel like you just keep being blindsided from, from every which away, like there's, there's hope coming in spring, but you really, really need to not be afraid to do this final purge this winter. And with doing this final purge, you're going to have to let go of some people, places, and things that you really, really love. And you know this, you know, this has been brewing. Okay. And I feel this, I feel this. And it, you know, when you, you have to make these choices and decisions for yourself, when you have to really mother and father yourself, you know, to, to people that are close to you, 
it's like it's a switch up it's a switch up that they don't even know how to process because they haven't done this for themselves so so stop expecting people to understand virgo stop expecting people to get it they won't get it until they choose this for themselves as well it's your duty to honor you and to, to shift it for you and yours you know everything that is birthed from you whether it's a business a human or whatever the case may be fucking love i don't know but let's move on <sighs> some of you are really settling when it comes to partnerships who you choose who you court who you just entertain like baby you know you can do better so wh why why are we here for those of you that are in a happy sustaining thriving relationship what doesn't apply let it fly for real and some people i'm gonna keep it true some people are about to walk away from you it, it's happening both ways i hear i hear the coin is both the coin we're on both sides we are officially welcome to the year of the dragon okay Mm. So you have unmarked trail in reverse, revelation in reverse, 57. Damn. You have closing door in reverse, completion in reverse. You refuse. Like your willpower is saying no when God is saying yes. And then we have magician sword. <laughs> magician sword. So you had double magician energy, a lot of mercury energy, Virgo, Gemini. Um, in two minds. But magician sword, confidence in your magic. It's giving me that Gemini reading distorted perception. Let me see when I recorded that. <clears throat> Reflect back to December 26th. Playlist. Um, Gemini. November 2022. And that... Um, video but that recording was one hour eight minutes and 36 seconds so one 18 pisces the moon nine it's time to end the cycle and then you have stars in the sky in reverse at the bottom limitless possibility you are your uh fucking root chakra sacral chakra uh solar plexus chakra and fucking heart chakra are really really taking a hit right now like and also <clears throat> let's just switch the storyline a little bit and looking at this card these cards are revelation in reverse it's kind of like you you know there's a piece you feel like there's a piece of the puzzle missing. Like there's something that you need to happen before you're able to make a move, okay? With Revelation being in reverse, unmarked trail, again, there's, there's a, I hear additional clarity that you feel like you need, okay? I feel like there's something that you quite don't trust mm -hmm. that's causing you to, it's aiding to the hesitation as well. This is very interesting, the fool. This is, and you're really, you're not wanting to be foolish, okay? But with confidence in your magic, spirit is saying, you have an answer to every question within. And really the only thing that's stopping you from, I feel like the final, whatever this missing piece is, it comes when you transition. Going back to that two of wands, it comes when you cross over. It comes when you take charge, okay? I feel like February, the reason why the readings are so late because it, it sh this is a collective theme. Six of Swords, moving on, okay? All right, not knowing Swords, this is still still some... It's kind of like you want to see the whole picture of how things are going to play out. And you're not going to get that, okay? You are walking through blind faith right now, okay? You are in the shadows right now. And you need to honor that you are in the shadows, okay? Honor the pain that you're experiencing. Honor the inner child fucking traumas that are coming up for you. The Hierophant. But there's something that you are actively committed to that you need to uncommit to, okay? The sun. And you know what it is, man. <sighs> you're A lot of you are restless right, right now. <clears throat> yeah, five of pentacles. You're really stressed about money. 
money money is coming in slow okay money is not business is slow money is coming in slow okay fucking sales are slow for some of you but with the moon and the temperance the angels are showing you how to get out of this situation and you keep telling them no you keep asking them for a way and then they're showing you the way in your in your da daily waking life and every fucking reading okay and you're like no that's not good enough for me but the devil no that your ego holding you back is giving jonah in the well jonah kept asking to be rescued okay and god kept singing <sighs> You had the nights. God kept sending in all of these, all of these fucking messengers for you. The angels, people in physical form, okay? All of the elements, social media, fucking random posts. And you're just like, God, I still need a sign. Look what's on the bottom, two of swords. No, I still need a sign. Like, baby, come on now. <sighs> come on, Virgo. Anything else with this? Two of Pentacles in reverse, imbalance, four of swords, trust. I hear rest, flow, and trust. Things don't have to be so difficult. <sighs> Hold on. Two of Pentacles in reverse, the star in reverse, four of swords upright, and the fool in reverse. So this is going back to, you need to complete a cycle. Two of Pentacles in reverse goes back to the Ace of Pentacles. There needs to be a new beginning. Temperance. I'm sorry. I mentioned temperance. So what's before temperance? 13. Death. If something needs to be purged. The star in reverse. That can go to the opposite Leo. But before the star, we have 16. The tower moment. It's kind of like you're trying to block a tower moment from happening. Because you know, once you take, once you cross over, doors are closed forever, okay? The revelations, like people, people will really understand the positions of whether they are in your life or not in your life. Like, you know, shit is about to be solidified, okay? But you're trying to go, it's like you're trying to honor this, this fucking... 3d matrix versus the divine matrix in in baby this virgo full moon is that shadow is gonna enlighten some things for you this is 24 and we're discussing february and the virgo full moon is february 24th so so it's like honey we, you want it the easy way virgo or the hard way the choice is yours but the way that you are responding to spirit is you want to do this shit the hard way like you want your ass whooped okay you want to be dragged in the spiritual and the physical okay and and you can avoid this okay by just taking that blind jump leap of faith okay and walking in the unknown and then you have mindful group things so so it's kind of like you're getting advice from people that will never never even actually take the leaps of faith that you are wanting to take so so i hear move around okay <clears throat> trust yourself how about that i hear how about them apples your um livers and kidneys need to be cleansed as well here lyme disease love kidney disease liver disease i feel like this is due to lack of self-care you're probably doing a lot of emotionally eating eating unhealthy a lot of snack a lot of junk food Anyways, moving on. So, yeah, there's an opportunity. I hear another one that's approaching you. Patience is in reverse. I feel like... <laughs> Goddamn. No. So, you have opportunity upright. You have chills. Patience in reverse. Transformation in reverse. Happiness in reverse. And blessings in reverse. Virgo, what the fuck? You feel, is this karma for Virgo? Clarify that, please. Yes, it is. King of Pentacles upright. I mentioned, I said this to a sign before, but 
I feel the need to ask you, what did you do? I know I was asking Aries, like, who they are, but Virgo, what did you do? Like, what happened here? Clarify opportunity. Patience. So you're wanting an opportunity for healing in some aspect, some relationship, some dynamic in your life. Whatever this is, this is outside of yourself. Yeah, you don't know how to transform a situation into something that you want. Uh, Leo strength is here. Clarifying opportunity is three of swords in reverse, wanting to heal something. Clarifying patience in reverse is death. Scorpio energy. Yo, it's a lot of it's a lot of sense when I say energy coming through. Energetically in the month of February, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of cleansing, a lot of purging. And we started with that energy. The sun is starting to come out. But with patience in reverse, spirit is saying it's time to change a situation. For some of you, it's you that needs to change. And with you that needs to change, this could be how you respond, how you give, how you take care of yourself. I don't know. With transformation being in reverse, you have the eight of wands in reverse. This is a halt. With happiness in reverse, you have the two of swords upright. This I'm getting being spiritually blind to something. And with blessings in reverse, you have the lovers in reverse and strength. I hear it's time to detached from codependence and it's time to rely on full self-sufficiency yeah and then you have the will of fortune in reverse with the ace of pentacles upright which i mentioned earlier when you had the two of pentacles in reverse to restore balance so the king of pentacles is the last king and the suit of pentacles and the ace of pentacles is the first so again a cycle needs to end for a new cycle to begin if you're wanting to know how to change a situation you need to completely purge a cycle from your life and this could be, you know, a partner, someone that you keep going back to from the past, a living situation, shit, a car, a job, something, something, a friendship. I don't know. But whatever this is, you have until the start in reverse. That's Aquarius. We in Aquarius, Pisces season starts in a couple of days. Clarify the star in a reverse for Virgo. Something's coming in. There's some information coming in towards you in regards to money. Money has been very loud. I feel like this is help. This is a blessing. It's kind of like once you sacrifice someone, you receive a financial blessing. Like that's really what I'm getting. But when sacrifice, yeah, you have to completely detach. Ace of Wands in reverse. You keep getting the first and the last. This is a shift in power. And I do feel like you're with strength upright, you are really being asked to take your power back. To if you want to uh if you've been trying to yeah, call back your power, and it's kind of like spirit is utilizing uh situations as energetic attacks to get you to move like divine intervention is already at play but your free will is very very strong like your earth energy so it makes sense it's very very strong and it's working against you versus for you smoke alarm let's just get the advice with this because i what's the advice with that pleasure look crawl will take to make the move to have pleasure. It's very simple. Very simple. Virgo, February. <laughs> Transformation in reverse. Happiness in reverse. And look what's on the bottom. Voyage in reverse. Why are you so scared to make a move? I hear it's due to some type of codependency and lack. But again, going back to what you need to release. Smoke alarm. Power. 
Knight of Cups in reverse. Something needs to be empty. We keep saying the same thing, so let's just move on. I feel like I'm a damn robot right now. But your life, like, you could be very predictable and it's time to become unpredictable, Virgo. Yeah. Girl, <laughs> the lightning bolt. Eight of forces. It's time to be unpredictable. We're about to do some things you've never done before, which is fulfilled, <clears throat> Virgo. Okay, so now they're showing me, yeah, once you... Once you make this move, one lightning bolt, once you, honey, once the tower is initiated, once the transformation is initiated, we have the queen of roses. This is emotional fulfillment. All right. Um, full self-sufficiency, you know, being surprised about how you're able to really nurture and care for yourself and how once you really, you know, focus on you, how spirit, you know, meets you halfway, two worlds upright, something that you've been dreaming about actually becomes your reality in the ascent and you're you are now like on a pedestal like you're very very proud of yourself and those hits that your root chakra through your heart chakra took are now re fully restored but for a lot of you with the, you being the only human sign there's this it's kind of like you you feel unwhole when you're when you're not in a partnership you feel unwhole like you feel like half of you is missing um, the other half of you, the better half of you. Um, for some of you, if you've been single, spring solstice or autumn solstice is bringing in love. You know, we're on two it's levels to this shit. So if you've been single for quite some time, I do feel like, you know, love is coming in spring. If you are newly single, there's new love coming around autumn solstice, around your birthday. But yeah, will, wisdom, and mind. As of right now, you need to... I hear, I hear, I believe, be flexible within thy will. And, and start, you know, learning to work with spirit versus against spirit. I see Archangel Gabriel in reverse. I'm getting disappointment though from that. Yeah, summer, winter, all the seasons. Something happened in summer 2023. That has also come up um, in winter 2023 and 2024 that the guides are displeased. Yeah, the king of, there is a masculine energy. Okay, so for, for some of you, there's a physical masculine that's displeased, but there's also a spiritually a masculine energy that's displeased. Yeah. Something was uncovered, or it's about to be, between today, the 13th, and the 21st of February, something is being uncovered, because you have Uriel and the Sphinx here, so it's giving me, like, the energy of fossils, yeah, the sands of time, something has been very well hidden, that's coming out, about a feminine energy, and a masculine energy is very disappointed. I feel like this is taking place in, in the, in the, in the, I, woo, this is taking place within the covenant. So this is within a partnership. Yeah. There's a masculine energy walking away from a feminine energy. They no longer feel safe and protected in this environment. I feel like the storyline just shifted unexpectedly. Hold on. I just saw it. Where is it? Right here. The Buddha, where is it? The Buddha prepares. Yeah, 13. So between today, what is that? The next eight days? Eight of forces, the lightning bolt. Oh, shit. And the chess game. Oh, and Archangel Raphael, Wednesday, the eighth. So the next, and Archangel Raphael rules Wednesday, communication. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. And I'm being drawn back to like, you're missing something like something. This is interesting. This is very interesting because the Ark of the Covenant is in reverse. The Ark holds 
information, but with it being in reverse, information is coming out. On behalf of spirit. Anything else with this? Lots of switch decks. Yeah, to restore balance. The 22nd of February, 222, that portal could be significant. Let's see who could. What is this about? What's coming to the surface? That two worlds, yeah, trying to keep something separated. I'm reading the. I can, yeah. There's multiple storylines here. Someone's favorite color could be pink. Ace of Pentacles. Whatever this is, this is definitely going to initiate a brand new beginning. But someone is leaving one commitment to go towards another commitment as well. Um, Page of Cups. Children could be involved. This is definitely within the family. Seahorses represent the family. We're going to grab the tea leaf real quick. Where are we? We need to bring this to a close. But Two of Wands. This is whatever this is. It's kind of like having an intuitive knowing already, but it's being confirmed in the physical. And the tower just fell in my lap. This is, you're not going to see this. This is completely unexpected. But Ten of Swords, it definitely ends something. I have Mortal Kombat finish them. I'm about to finish this message though. We have one more deck to pull from. Let me just see what comes out in the tea real quick. Damn, I should have saw what three cards were up. If you saw them, take heed. If not, don't worry about it. Hold on. There's a feminine energy that's been playing to men. That's a, They're about to have a conversation with you. Too much. Somebody's by somebody's paranoid as fuck, but balance needs to be restored. Mayada's involved. The Queen of Scrolls in reverse. I'm telling you, there is a feminine energy about to be displaced. It could be a Libra as well, because we keep seeing balance, smoke alarm, the bird's nest. This is in regards to a family. Uh, the number three could be significant. Archangel Gabriel. Let me see what day of the week he rules. Because I'm, I'm learning them, but I don't have them all memorized right now. I can't. Archangel Gabriel. Uh, oh, someone's name could be Gabriel, but Gabriel was cancer. Then I saw Archangel Michael in reverse. So Leo could be involved. Cancer Leo. July could be significant going back to summer. But Monday, Monday. The 19th, President's Day. This could be a more global. I don't know. This could be global, but that's President's Day. So this could, or, or if it's not something global, this could be someone that's highly respected within the community as well. I don't know, but Lion Leo energy, it's time to act, it's time to make a move. Or, I mean, I'm a Leo giving you this message, so I don't know. But you have take care, bad enemies are working against you, it's time to make a move. You need to, I hear it's time to escape, and this isn't on no pussy ass shit, like, no. Because whatever it is, it's affecting your money, okay? Um, someone within the environment is extremely prideful, unwilling to change someone's ways or not. Someone's ways are just unchanged. But the month of December, so Capricorn, Sagittarius energy could be significant as well. But the most difficult part of a situation is over once you make that move. And what's on the other side is wealth for you. But I see involvement with the law. Someone new is entering your life. I do this involvement with the law is karma. Like God wants you to get the fuck out of the way. Okay, Virgo placements yeah the community and bees mm, yeah so this is something, something happening within the community online could be significant on president's day which that day is i said the 19th so leo energy what what's done in the dark comes to the light is what i'm getting butterfly in reverse metamorphosis something is unchanged un, unhinged as well 
smiley face in reverse joy someone could be between the ages of 22 and 30 and then we have peace harmony clarify this to bring us to a close please yeah i feel the energy picking up like there's a rush a rush of information coming in but i'm getting like going back to someone wants to heal a situation and the answer is no like the answer is fuck no <laughs> like dead ass <laughs> like i hear it it's a no for me dog something about 10 years 20 12 22 december 22nd december 21st but six of pentacles it's kind of like some yeah pentacles 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 someone wants to work with you someone wants to build with you someone wants to grow with you someone knows your energy is vital or vice versa put it how it fits but 20 by tuesday a judgment call will be made and the devil uh, for some of you this is someone wants to commit but the devil in reverse the advice is it's no it's a no yeah five of swords too much damage has been done there's too much distrust here in the full in reverse someone will will know the truth by but before we shift the 19th that's when pisces season begins oh i think i think i'm gonna pull one more card and bring this to a close hold on let me um it's in the description box when the sun shifts into pisces but hold on Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. The 18th, so we had a lot of 17 energy, Aquarius energy. I don't know, but the next eight days, okay, that's what I said, that's what I'm sticking to, all right? But we have 3-3 three, three here as well. Someone could be 33 years old. But the world, the Queen of Wands in reverse. The world. This, and this feels like public embarrassment. This is what it feels like. And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is no longer investing, no longer working on something. This is like someone that has hope. It's, it's a no. Like, I don't know. I really don't know what this is. All right. But I hear you'll know. Final message for Virgo. Healing in reverse 13. <laughs> yeah, you need to focus really, really. I hear uh I hear detract and focus on you. Clarify healing in reverse for Virgo to close this out. Angel numbers confirmation. I feel like there's someone that you've been trusting in that is distrustful. 12, 12. I feel like you have a Judas around. Yeah, yield patience. You're going to see the next 333. Three, three. Like, I don't know. There's, there's, there's someone that seems like they support you or some shit and they don't. I don't know what the fuck this is. This is some snake ass, sneaky ass shit. I don't like this, but movement picks the joy. Spirit is saying once it's revealed, move around 33. You got like fucking six threes here. Okay. 33, 30. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But flying 20 judgment commitment. I don't know. On the other side, though, is bliss. Whatever the fuck you're dealing with right now, whoever you're interacting with, the ace of swords, honey, it's, it's a whole bunch of bullshit. That's what I'm getting. But I'm going to end it there, Virgo. I love you. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. See you later. Bye.